Gentlemen, welcome to Man Intelligence. You all know we're all about helping you become a better man, and every gentleman is not only admirable, but also respectable. In today's episode, we'll be helping you become a respectable man with five psychological tricks to get respect from the people around you. Today's episode is inspired by Charisma on Command's video, where he shared seven psychological tricks to get respect immediately. A reputable character comes a long way, so we thought we'd add to the list. By the end of this video, we'll also be revealing the most annoying trick that makes anyone unlikable. Ready to be a top-notch gentleman? Let's begin. Number five, raise your words. There's a maxim in Stoicism that says, I begin to speak only when I'm certain that what I say isn't better left unsaid. It's a nugget of wisdom from Roman historian Marcus Porisius Cato, which basically means think before you speak. Communication and conversations are part of our daily life, and in fostering positive relationships with people, the words you use and the way you say them matter. If you want to be a respectable man, one of the best tricks to get respect is to speak with value. Spark meaningful conversations. Don't engage in trash talk, avoid gossip, and make sure you know what you're talking about about. If you want to be an alpha male, it's not enough to display alpha male body language. You should also speak like one. According to developmental psychologist Catherine D. Kinsler, how you talk determines who you're friends with, your job, and how you see the world. Even if you don't realize it, how you speak is, in a very real way, a window into who you are and how other people see you. This is why motivational speakers like Gary Vaynerchuk, Simon Sinek, and Robert Kiyosaki are looked up to by many. If you want to be respected, speak wisely, speak with clarity, speak with authority, and never Never speak arrogantly. Want to know more alpha male body language examples? Watch this video where we break down alpha male body language tricks every guy should do today. Number four, come through. If you want to be a top-notch man of reputation, follow through on your words. Promises and commitments is one of the best psychological tricks to get respect from the people around you. Staying true to your words and following through with them shows accountability. According to psychologist Dr. Henry Cloud, accountable people see life as something that has been entrusted to them and understand that they are responsible for what they do with it. To take ownership of these is to truly be a responsible person, the kind of person everyone wants to be in a relationship with. More than that, it shows consistency. And when you're consistent, you build trust with other people around you. In dating, consistency is one of the habits women love. Women adore men who they can count on. You can't expect a woman to trust you and stay with you if you keep falling short of your promises. In business, if you say you can get the job done, your boss or client won't believe you until you actually get the job done. Gentlemen, a promise means nothing without proof. How you conduct yourself says more about your character than the words you speak. So walk the talk. Get to know the habits women love through this video. Check it out. Number three, suit up. Dressing well is probably one of the easiest tricks to get respect. But wait, you're probably thinking, isn't respect a common courtesy? Shouldn't people respect me because I know what I'm talking about? Gentlemen, if you want to be a respectable man, learning how to improve your body language isn't enough. You should also know how to dress well. I came upon this quote that I now remember everywhere I go and whoever I meet. It says, visualize your highest self and show up as him. This is a phenomenon scientists have dubbed enclosed cognition. This is simply a scientific term for the idea that the clothing impacts how we think. The theory says that the clothing that we wear or what others are wearing actually changes our thought patterns. In a series of nine studies, community members and undergraduate students were presented with pictures of random faces paired with either expensive or cheap upper body clothing and asked to judge these people's competence. In all investigations, Faces paired with the richer clothing were regarded as more competent, even when the instructions warned participants to ignore clothing in their judgments of competence. Whether you like it or not, judgment is a part of our society. People will make decisions about you within the first eight seconds of meeting you. This is why we automatically regard someone wearing a lab coat as a doctor or someone in uniform as a soldier. Gentlemen, how you dress is your personal branding. Even if you have body language of a high-ranking soldier, if you dress like a clown, people will see you as a clown. Just think about it this way. Dressing well is not vanity. It's strategy. We're down to our last two items in this list of psychological tricks to get respect. But before we continue to today's episode, I just want to remind you that by the end of this video, we're also revealing the most annoying trait that makes anyone unlikable. If you want to become a top-notch gentleman through and through, keep watching. Number two, draw the line. Gentlemen, you can't expect people to respect you if you keep letting them walk all over you. Nice guy without boundaries is just a pushover. Setting boundaries in itself is a form of self-respect. It's like saying, this is where you end and I begin. According to psychotherapist Avery Neal, a boundary is a physical or metaphorical line between ourselves and others. Setting a boundary means requiring better treatment of others and not allowing someone else to run us over. It provides a protective parameter around us, allowing us to operate comfortably within it. To set healthy boundaries, you must first think about your current boundary and ask, 
ask, how much attention do people expect from you at a moment's notice? Do you always make yourself available? How much praise and acceptance do you receive? Why are you popular with your friends? How do you feel after spending time with each friend or family member? Next, use the five things method to set new and better ones. List five things you'd like people to stop doing around you. For example, criticizing absent colleagues. List five things you want people to stop doing to you. For example, being rude or inconsiderate or ignoring you. List five things people may no longer say to you. For example, you always give up or you never get promoted. Lastly, be consistent with your new boundaries. Once you've established strong, clear boundaries, people will give you more respect. Tired of being the nice guy? Want to know helpful body language tips? Watch this video where we teach you 10 powerful tricks to be an alpha male. Number one, own it. While it's important to be able to laugh at yourself, there is a difference between not taking yourself way too seriously and selling yourself short. Gentlemen, when building positive relationships with the people around you, the rule of thumb is to develop a healthy sense of self-respect. And self-deprecating talk isn't one of them. When you talk about yourself to others, what messages are you sending? Do you always say, I'm no good, I'm terrible at everything, I don't like myself, you're better than me, or I'm not worth my time? If you do, then you're not giving yourself justice. If you want to be a respectable man, own it. Know what you can bring to the table and let it be known. Don't sell yourself short. Now that you know all the psychological tricks to get respect, it's time you learn the most annoying trait that makes anyone unlikable. If you want to be a respectable man, avoid humble bragging. It's when a person brags about something but wraps it up as a compliment or a false humility. According to research, humble braggers were less liked and less trusted than others. Not only is it worse than boasting, but it also makes you look like an arrogant prick. Instead of humble bragging, why not learn how to attract women with body language or practice some alpha male body language attraction tricks? Knowing some power poses makes all the difference in life and dating. Do you know any more tricks to get respect immediately? Go ahead and share your answers in the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. When it comes to looking good, knowing how to have an ideal body is only the tip of the iceberg. Consistency is still key if you want to get a body that drives women crazy. And of course, don't forget to work out your confidence muscle too.